Marmamon comes in to bowl the first delivery. A little bit of swing, almost popped to the square leg fielder. Shahed Ali thought he was in the game with a catch, as it turned out. Themselves at the moment. Drifts onto the pads, nicely struck away. There's no protection out at that square leg boundary. And David Murdoch on his way with a boundary. The brigade team, they're kicking along. As he comes in again, he's got a bit of an unusual action. Uh, this one, well, he slices this and he goes all the way over. Didn't know too much about it, but they do say if you're going to swing hard, well, you could get lucky. Short ball from Qureshi, off speed. He's going to have an opportunity at the stumps. He throws them down. I suspect that Graham McCarter is going to be on his way. That's an outstanding bit of fielding off his own bowling. And Taz Qureshi has continued to inspire his LB Zelmi teammates. Qureshi. That has been dispatched. Well, for a man who hasn't timed too much in this game so far, David Murdoch, as he has a want to do and seems to do almost every game, qualifier. And then eventually the fourth game of the day will be the final. That's nicely stroked from Itka Hussain. Just timed it beautifully. Oh, drops short of a length and I'm sure that plan wasn't being pumped over the cow corner boundary for a six, but Hussain is timing the ball nicely since he's arrived at the crease. He's up to 12. They've got to be much better. And clinical in the field. Well, at the moment, they're being clinical with the bat. That's another one that's gone into the overgo. Watch out for the snakes as you try and find this one. Hussein, he goes here again. And it's six more to the line. And the umpires have been very consistent. Well, another one where he gets to step inside. It was a better line from Khalil, but it's still been dispatched. And, well, the sirens are sounding for Brigade. Two sixes in this fourth over. And if to get Hussein, just... Oh, and he's looking to go again. Has he got this one right? Oh, it's been spilled by the fielder. And uh, that's disappointing. That's going to hurt. That could be really expensive. Whoa, that's gone straight in to his wheelhouse. And it's been launched into the Cardamer Oval orbit. Another stunning strike from David Murdoch to end the fourth over. Another big high strike from Murdoch, but this time it's gotten more distance than it has height, and that's a great way to finish off their five overs for Brigade. They end up 72 for one. Beth with the first over for Brigade. Short ball, Ali's got a top edge. It's run all the way down to the boundary. Well, he looked in great discomfort with that first ball. Nice ball, a little bit of out shape, but he might end up with the second one. Oh, that's, that's an unlucky moment for Oshin Reynolds. Another short one, hooked around the corner. Ali sent it to the boundary. Well, two shaky looking shots from the first two balls. Full toss on leg stump and it gets put to the boundary again. Keep an eye on the umpire. I don't think we're going to have the no ball call. It'll be good to see from side on, but well put away from Ali and that's consecutive boundaries, 26. Oh, that was in the slot. Ali trying to dispatch it over the boundary. The only thing that he can do, though, is an inside edge, and it crashes into his stumps. Well, after an excellent start, the first batsman down. Elby Zelmi now 14 for ones when your eye's in. Another one that's in the slot, but it's been hit very high. Fielder coming in from mid-off, takes an easy catch, and... After a traumatic start, Ryan McBeth's picked up consecutive wickets to finish his over. Albi Zelmi now two down with only 14 on the board. So heavy on strike. He was good yesterday. Swung around and he's timed that wonderfully. Tough place to pull the ball from. Got it in an awkward spot but has made some great contact. 
And it's on a length. Zahabi can't take full toll. And it looks like Iftiga Hussain coming in from the mid-wicket boundary. That's a really good catch, continuing some of the excellent fielding that we've seen here this week. Final delivery from Barr coming up. That's just drifted to mid-wicket. Hussain comes around, takes an excellent catch. Well held. He's a high-quality cricketer, Iftika Hussain. Another great moment for his family. I'm surprised he didn't give them the signal as he ran past, but a wonderful moment for both him and the brigade squad. Well, he's got a golden set of hands out there on the outfield, but unfortunately not. It's a golden arm. Just a first ball full toss, and Khalil has dispatched it with authority. That one's the outside off stump, beautifully struck. Well, Khalil suggesting there's still some life in this Elby Zelmi body yet. He's hit two sixes off the first three balls of this over. I imagine they're as good as your carbs, Rico. As Hussain drops a little bit short, Khalil smokes it to the boundary, but it can't beat the fielder coming there. I think that's the skipper, Britain, with his second catch of the innings. Moves around well from the long off position and the school kids up on the hill. Fudge Florentines. Is first ball, I think we've got a stumping there. Pretty sharp bit of work from Olford. Looks like Mirav Zal's just dragged his back foot forward in trying to place that, play that shot. And that's a nifty bit of work, work from the wicket keeper. And then plenty of variety in the middle overs as well. As Khalil smokes that for a much needed maximum. Well, Albi Zelmi started the over needing 36 off six. Good to see them fighting all the way through to the end. Khalil pumps it over the mid-wicket boundary. That's a super strike and his final over. Another one short of a length. Big swing from Niazi that's gone a mile in the air. Builder coming round takes an excellent catch. What a super grab. And you can hear the cheers in the background. I think that's Oshin Reynolds. No, actually it's David Murdoch who's come around there from deep square. Well, Zia swings around and caps off this unsuccessful chase with yet another boundary. Oh, great. He's gone for a few in this final over, but in the wash up, it doesn't matter. Elby's El only have fallen well short. It was a brave effort from them though. They've given the total a bit of a shake and certainly helped by couple of big strikes from Samli Khalil in that final over. It does beg the question of why he hasn't been up the order earlier today, Rico.